Today is the last day of Latino Heritage Month, and joining us is Chris Iglesias, CEO of the Unity Council. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, focused on uplifting Oakland's Fruitvale neighborhood, and we're approaching Dia de los Muertos. Muertos I'm practicing yes. Muertos. Yes. I'm saying that correctly. Essentially, Day of the Dead. Yes. First, you. can you talk a little bit about what that day is and what it means to people? Well, I think it's a it's a long standing um, cult. Uh, uh, <laughs> event and uh, cultural significance in the Latino community um, where we celebrate those that have passed on. And I think this day for um, Oakland signifies um, it's a, a very big cultural uh, day for the, for, the fruit, for the fruit fail and for the community to celebrate those that have, have passed. But they do it in a beautiful artistic ways with um, beautiful altars that we commission and um, uh, bands and music and food. So it's really a, it's a, it's a wonderful day for the, for the community and it's a day to celebrate um, the culture, those that have passed, and also those that are alive and the artists, the different artists that we have. Um, so it's really, it's a wonderful day for the food Yeah, you mentioned you, the artist and your shirt, and that's yes. the artwork for this, this is, year's celebration, This is correct? this year's celebrate, uh, the poster for this year. Um, the artist is uh, Eduardo Chaides, who's a East Oakland resident. And it's really, I think, a powerful statement because this is probably the first year that we've ever had a child on the poster. Mm. And I think the significance is really that the, that the Unity Council, that the, the Oakland community, really the community in general, stand with all the children that are experiencing, you know, extreme challenges along the border and I think it was very important for Eduardo though to to make that statement and so we were able to, to honor th his design and, and put it on the poster for this year. And you talk about it being a celebration of life and those who have passed so what are some of the events that are going to be going on? Well I think leading up to the event we will um, we actually have wor workshops for those that would like to build um, altars so we work with local artists and you come in and learn how to um, you know what, what goes into these altars or these ofrendas um, how are they designed uh, what kind of uh, flowers and other types of um, things that you would you would put into these um, altars to to bring back the spirits for those that have passed. Okay, and really, the council does so much more, the Unity Council. Talk a little bit more about what the organization does. Well, we've been in the fruit fail for almost 55 years now, so we pretty much take, um, we work from, uh, with individuals from prenatal to seniors. So we have um, Head Start programs, early child education programs, workforce development for youth, a lot of uh, programs with the school district, um, senior housing, so really from cradle to grave, and then with DIA. And, and beyond. So it's really the whole gamut of, uh, of services in the Fruitvale community. All right. Well, great work that the Unity Council does, and we appreciate you, Chris, for coming in today no, and talking to us about this. Thank you very much. All thank right. you.